Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more Gear City. It's been a minute, it's been a minute since Gear City, since an actual video on the channel. It's been live streams for the past bit, we're taking a bit of a hiatus, finishing up work, uh, all that's behind us now. So we're back, making videos, uh, the first on the list here is Gear City, some automations coming soon, so don't you guys worry, and some other stuff as well. Uh, if you guys completely forget what Gear City is, well it is a like car company, tycoon game, pretty much the exact same as automation, except... This game focuses on the actual tycoon aspect instead of the designing of the car aspect, which automation heavily focuses on. Both games are great in their own respect. I do love a good tycoon game, though. Uh, so, where we left off, we are going to go to our showroom. We can see all of our cars we made here. We've made the uh, S1, which is a car we can't see what it looks like because... Because we can't? I don't know. Uh, we have the MK1, not the MKS1, the MK1. This is our first car right here. Look at that. 10 horsepower, 2.3 liter 4 cylinder. Kind of a small engine for 1906, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, we have a couple of cars. The MK Sport, which is a sports car. Quite fast, 40 miles an hour, 20 horsepower. Not bad. Uh, then we have our, our current lineup right now. We've got the MKA, which is a Phaeton. If you guys don't know what a Phaeton is, it's just a very, very, very cheap open top. Uh, four, you know, like a, like a two two sets of seats, etc. kind of vehicle. It could be one set of seats, I think. It's a very cheap open top vehicle. There's like no, it doesn't even have, doesn't even need a windshield. It doesn't need anything. This is a very cheap car. The MKM is our sedan. The MKM Sport, which is our expensive sedan, with a 2.7 liter four cylinder. How fancy is that? And the MKS, which is the top of the line sports car with the same 2.7 liter four cylinder engine. Uh, 57 miles an hour is pretty good, but it's not bad at all. We're making a new vehicle right now as well. Uh, we can go to our R&D section, we can go view, vehicle, the MKS Speed, Speedy? Speedy. The Speedy it is, okay. 140 horsepower. But yeah, none of that, none of that 40 horsepower, 140 horsepower, 1800 pounds, so it's, it's a fast car. 4.1 liter, straight 6 engine, 0 to 60 in 11 or 10.7 seconds, which is very slow by today's standards. Uh, and a terrible top speed of 115 miles an hour. But this is a fast car for 1915. Is this the fastest car in the world? It might not be. We can go to... Uh, it is a, it's a fast, the fastest accelerating car. So 0 to 60 is the fastest car ever made. Or going to be. Once it's done being uh, r and uh in 13 months or so. So what we're going to do today is we're going to play for a bit longer. We've only played it for like two episodes, like 20 years. So, so we'll play for a little longer today. Um, we're going to build a bunch more cars, I think, though. Uh, I think I finally figured out what we want to do for the Maven Motors brand. Now, this is an American car. Is it American or is it Canadian? Are we Canadian? We're Canadian, I think. Yeah, I think we're Canadian, right? If we check into here. They are. We're, we're Canadian, based in Win the, the great old city of Winnipeg, Canada. Uh, wow, well, we're worth $215 million. Okay. So, we are based in Winnipeg, Canada. Uh, go Winnipeg gang. Go Jets. Go. We are building uh, a Canadian car company. And what that is, is pickup trucks, SUVs, crossovers, all the jazz, all the fancy jazz, but none of those things really exist right now. We go to R&D, no, we can go to exit out of that, we can go to our reports, we can go to what is in demand in North America. So right now sedans are in demand, touring cars, luxury sedans, Phaeton, sports cars, coupes, all these, you know, cars basically. Uh, and pickup trucks are very, very not really in demand, they're still quite a bit in demand, but like, you know, only 2.6% people really want pickup trucks, whereas you know, three times that want sedans. So it's, it's, they want a lot of sedans. So right now, a pickup truck isn't really a viable option. We could make one, I think for the next generation. It'll sell decently well, because I don't think there's too many pickup truck pickup trucks for sale. I don't think so. So what we're going to do is um, skip forward until the speed is done. Wait, when did our cars come out? Our cars came out pretty recently, actually. Yeah, 1914. Like, what happens if we go one more month forward? Let's see. We are in the hardest, uh, second hardest difficulty. I'm playing my own campaign on the hardest difficulty right now, and it's so, it's quite easy. Uh, so we're losing money right now because of R&D, and we're building a new factory in four months. Actually, we're gonna wait those four months out because you know what? We don't have a ton of money. We'll go five months forward. Then I think we can start expanding our sales department as well because we we are losing a bit of money right now. That's okay. Once everything's done, we should be all right. Okay, we have got our factory built. We're still losing a bit of money. We sold what? Uh, 8,000 cars last year, 9,000 cars, that's not bad. And we are still investing in other companies like Evade and the Soaring Motor Company, which actually has gone down by a fair bit, just a fair bit. Oh, that's not good at all. Soaring, what, what's happening to them? We can go, no, no teddy bear for us. Soaring, 
they're only doing 2.89 or 2.86 million dollars in revenue every quarter, so every three months. Uh, we purchased them at 13 and, and they're worth 40, so we can hold on to them for now, probably. Now we'll sell. We'll sell. And we're going to buy Evade, which is Dodge. These are Dodge equivalent because they're worth a bit less and they have more sales. And we'll put all of our money into Evade, probably, I think, for now. We still have money left over. There's nothing else that's too cheap. Uh, you really want to look for, in this game, um, cheap companies in general and North American companies. Anything non-North America is a bit of a risky play. Um, and right now, it looks like the companies are worth in the hundreds of millions. And we want to look for a sub-$100 million company like Evade. We could actually probably buy Evade. We could actually probably buy Evade. Can we do that? Can we go to Acquire? It'll cost us $140 million to buy Evade or... No, that they don't want to do a, uh, a merger. Okay, well, you know what? Could we raise 140 million? No. We could raise, what, 60 million? Yeah, we, I'm not going to risk it. I want to put some money in the pension, though. Put um, 2 million, 500,000 dollars in the pension fund. Because that's a really important thing later on. Um, we've got our factory up here now in New York. Or what do we do? We upgraded our Winnipeg? No. Oh, it's an LA factory. Okay. Oh, that works. We'll search that. Now, it is World War One. Uh, the end of World War One very shortly. And we're gonna build some branches in a few cities on the uh, the west coast here. Uh, nothing really. They're all pretty small. Really, we're just selling the cars in Los Angeles. Really, it's the only city that's fairly large, and we'll sell all of our cities, all of our cars for the same price in all the cities. And we'll go one more month. We'll see how that's doing. Now we spent a bit of money on factories and or on branches and stuff. Another three hundred fifty thousand. And r and still costing us money, but we are making 1.4 million in sales now. Which is not terrible. We did miss a sale somehow. Or is our factory not good enough, really? Oh, our factories are not good enough. We're going to upgrade our New York factory. We better do that. Let's do this. Another 2 million. We'll get another, th another 3 factory lines. It's going to take us 4 months. And we'll just fast forward all the way until our uh, MKS speed is out. And our factories are now fully producing again, which is good. Now we're making, okay. Now the world, the, the war is over. Now our factories have changed pretty much from a military focus to a non-military focus. We, we can sell a lot more cars now. Oh, now we're good. Okay, we, we didn't even need to upgrade the factory. I totally forgot. That's okay, though. We're making money now. Uh, we will be. And Evade is worth a bit. We'll actually buy more of Evade because we've got some cash. Not much cash, but I want to take as much of a, you know, take as much of Evade as I can because I think they'll be worth quite a bit in the future. Still losing a, a lot of money right now. We're spending a lot in construction, though, so we'll be making a positive money, looks like, after. Let's just do two more months. So, the second month of 1919. Now we're making a profit. We'll make more of a profit very shortly. We'll sell this thing. So, the MKS is 1600 We'll sell this thing for, like, 3000 Quite expensive for 1919. We'll go one more month. Take a look and see how that's doing. Okay. That, that's an extra 900000 in sales. That's great. Wow, it is selling... Poorly, obviously, but there's so much money in it, and there's not much cost. It's doing quite well. Very expensive vehicle. $3,000 is a lot. Uh, I just want to see here. How much cars did we sell last year? What's what's the largest company? Burnt Hall is quite large. Selling 37.1 thousand cars. Uh, a lot of money in revenue there. Where's ours? So, um, we are... Maven Motors. We, we, we're up there. We're at the top 20, it looks like. 12,700 cars. 36 million. Pretty low revenue, actually. Uh, compared to Cron, Stephen Hall, Burley, which is a pretty big company. Um, so what you'll see here is the companies, all their sales, all the revenue expenses, profit to cash, etc. Uh, you see like the independent company, and then if they have like sub-brands, so we have the Burley company, they sell cars, as well as the Abbott Detroit Motors brand, uh, Dale Bologna brand, and Fred Lawn brand. So these are all the brands. Uh, they are slowly acquiring more companies. We'll acquire a company or two later on, or make our own, who knows, we can make our own. Um, our sales are up and up. We're doing quite good. Evade's doing quite good. We could purchase any more of Evade. We could purchase more of Evade. Well, we don't have 5 million. We'll do another 2.9 million and keep purchasing it up. We're going to sim the rest of the year. And boy, oh boy, I thought I was going to be editing this down, but this, there's a lot to just to go over here. We haven't been here for a bit. I know I said last time I was going to edit this down to a bit shorter. Uh, it's still going to be probably a half an hour video. I will probably cut out some of the parts later on because what happens is there's, uh, there's, you know, World War II, there's the Great Depression, so cars don't really get, so nothing really happens there. Um, we're still selling quite well, making some money here and there. 
and the Soviet Union's having the, the wow, Aveda jumped 72% a month. Well, what are they worth? Ah, worth 250 million. I like that. That's that is some profit if I've ever seen some. We'll do another three months or four months, so we'll go to uh, 1920 on the dots. Making some money, not a ton of money. We do have the best sports car in the entire world, the MKS Speed. Now, another 20%. That's a lot of growth for a fly. That's good. That's good. That's what I was, that's what I was hoping for. Um, so yeah, Maven Motors is going to be focusing on, you know, it's going to be the mass market brand. Like, you know, like Ford or, or Chevy or Dodge or whatever you want there. Um, we're going to focus on a Canadian specialized vehicle. I think we're going to focus on like larger vehicles later on. Right now, all we can sell is sedans, maidens and stuff. But trucks, SUVs will become more popular as they go on in the day, in, in, in the game in you know, the years. Uh, I think we'll come up with a truck in the next few years probably. Uh, what's Evade worth right now? 280 million? 295. Wow. Worth actually about well, the same as me for some reason, even though like my company has more revenue. Uh, they've got dividends though, which is very so if you guys don't, don't know anything about stocks, is basically every quarter uh they're gonna pay me a uh, point so eleven cents a share of their company. So I own one point seven million shares, one point eight million. So that's 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 hundred and eighty thousand dollars every three months I'm getting from them. Um we'll do six more months. And we'll take a look and see. see the extra extra cash flow, yeah, a little bit of. Oh, we pay some taxes there, okay. Yeah, we, we pay quarterly taxes as well, so that the uh, the dividends pay off some of the taxes. Okay, so we're doing okay. In the revenue staying pretty stable. What's is everything looking pretty good? I think so. They get some profit from that. Sales are slowly but surely going up. Not doing terrible. Uh, we'll make sure we're still making a profit here. We've got about 175 million. Look at our liquid assets. This is our cash from stocks and from cash in general. Uh, it's going up pretty, pretty, pretty well there. Sales are slowly dipping down, but they'll go, they'll go up uh, next year as people just get richer in general. Not really, pretty stagnant. That's not, that's not ideal. Okay, yeah, we definitely need a next generation of vehicles coming up soon. Uh, I like to make all my cars at the same time, generally speaking. We can actually still sell a good amount of our shares left uh, for some cash. Evade is worth 465 million. Oh wow, their, their revenues have gone up a lot. That's not bad. I'll, I'll take that. What's our stock? Our pensions are our pensions. Our pensions are doing fine. We're gonna make. We're gonna go. What source? Oh, we we could have outsourced engine chassis. Gone. Right, we'll do that. We'll outsource our high performance engines because. They're being phased off anyways to the next generation. And I think we'll actually not make a crazy item. We went to the cars though. We're going to design new engines from scratch, I think. So, we can actually do like something fancy. Do we want to like have like a specific kind of engine for a brand? We can do like V engines probably. It'd be nice to do. Uh, yeah, we'll do an inline. Inline 6 is like the base engine now. We'll do an uh, overhead valve. That's just literally the best one in the game by far. Uh, unless you just need crazy horsepower for some reason, but no, no, it's totally fine. So we're gonna make this thing, this is our cheap base engine, a straight six. Sounds pretty American if you ask me, or Canadian. Or Canadian, I don't judge. And lower all the quality down to nothing to start off, and we'll see where we're at. We'll make it a, a long, wide, and heavy boy, which will save us money because we don't care about the weight. Uh, we'll make this thing a massive stroke. We want all them torques, and a very small bore. We're gonna do like a 3 liter, or a 2.8 liter base engine, that sounds like a fair... That sounds like a fair size. Uh, nope. This. 2.8 liter straight six. Now the previous generation vehicle, which is the 2.3 liter. Wait, yeah, 2.3 liter. Uh, that's got 20 horsepower. So we're gonna go from 20 to 30 horsepower probably and much, much more torque. Fantastic, we can go for 150 torque. We'll go for 130 torque and like 30 horsepower. Pretty modest. Like that's more than enough power for like any of these cars. Like the MKM and the MKA. Yeah. Not bad. I can do 30, 30 full mile an hour. This thing should be a bit faster. We'll do one year for the R&D time again. And we're going to call this thing the... Sure, we'll call this the... What's our engines called? Gosh darn it, what are, what are we calling the engines? Oh, just like the names. Okay, we're just going to call it the G1... Dash, generation one. This is the this is the the generation in, not the not the old previous gen. The new one. Why not? I don't know. Uh, the G one twenty eight hundred. Okay, we'll go modify. 
We're going to change the G12800. I kind of want a four-cylinder variant. We'll do like a 1.9 liter. Yeah, that sounds fine. A 1.9 liter smaller engine with 80 torque and 20 horsepower. So the same as like the last generation vehicle. That'll save us some money. And we'll do the G1190, 1900. And we're going to have a third or fourth engine option, I think. We're going to have a much wider range of cars now. And we'll go for another inline six, but we're going to make this thing a bit of a bigger one. We'll go for 60 on the bore and 195 on the stroke. Now we can go 205. Massive stroke. Very, very stroked on engine. A 3.5 liter. That sounds fair. Sounds like a fair engine. 3.5 liter on the dot because I like my round numbers. This thing's going to have an even more torque. 180 pound feet and 50 horsepower. That sounds reasonable. And the 3500. And then we can go for maybe a V8. Now, what, what does the, the Sport have? That's a... Oh, no, the speed. That's a straight six. 4.1 liter straight six. Versus we've got a 3.5 liter straight six with a lot less horsepower, obviously. Um, I think we'll leave the speed for sale for a bit longer. It's still doing okay sales-wise. Um, you know. Recharge this thing. Nah. Nah, I want to focus on cars that just sell. We can go for a diesel. Again... Doesn't really sell. We'll do a five, another 4.1 liter straight. It's just a weird size, and that's gonna be their quirk. They got a nice quirky 4.1 liter straight six. 109, no, we want 200 pound feet of torque. We'll up the quality just a bit, because this is, this is a quality engine. We'll go for like what? 70 horsepower, 200 torque. Pretty beefy engine, if you ask me. And we'll do this. Well, the 4100. And I think, I think what we'll do, we'll make the next generation engine for the speed, but we'll do a supercharged 4.1 liter, it'll be the same engine size, even a bit more, we'll do a single overhead cam, just doable, how much does the current one have? If this has got 140 horsepower, how do we get 140, it must be an expensive engine, it was 900 bucks, oof, I don't think we'll make a car that fast, that, that, fast right now because that's expensive that was all out for that car my gosh like we can get we can get that number but uh like if it actually even go like we're making a very this is a very stroked out this is a very very stroked out 4.1 liter versus the previous generation um the board was 121 millimeters versus 205 so this is a very very this is like a truck engine we can do that we can do this We'll go for an overhead valve though, and we'll do non-supercharged. A little bit of money there. 95 horsepower. Uh, and it's a bit cheaper. It's a bit cheaper. As much as they like their Duesenbergs, uh, they realize they got to be practical here. And 70 horsepower is actually quite a bit. 95 will be even more. That's a lot of torque. Do we even need that? Need that? Or should we just do an NAV8? Should we just do an NAV8? Hmm. You know, we'll skip that for now. Modify the chassis. We've got two chassis. We've got no. We've got the CH and the SH. Uh, the CH. I mean, the CH is like the what is this? The ladder frame, like the compact chassis looks like. Okay, the compact chassis. We'll go for leaf springs in the rear. We don't do we need. Let's go here. The CH. Yeah, is the cheap vehicle. Okay, the MK. Oh, it's the MKS, not the MKS Sport. Oh, the Speed is his own chassis. Is very interesting. We'll make two different chassis. No, we'll make three. Um, our sports car will, be, will get a dedicated chassis, and I think we'll do a couple of sports kind of cars. We'll do a car chassis, basic car chassis, and we'll do a truck chassis, whatever we're gonna call these things. We'll do. We're gonna make the, make a brand new chassis right at the hobby. We're gonna do a ladder frame, front engine, not not front mid engine, front engine, rear wheel drive. We'll go for what's the best here. Uh, swing axle or sliding pillar? We'll go for a swing axle. It's a little bit cheaper and leaf springs. This is our this is our basic car platform. Lower some of the quality down here, and we're gonna make sure it fits uh, up to the 4.1 liter engine. This thing is gonna be yeah, it'll fit the biggest engine. Why not? This narrower, like it a very very heavy chassis and not very tall, which will save us some money and some weight. But I mean the weight. Takes weight. That's okay. 
we're gonna go low on the development time. I think after this, yeah, we'll get all stunned and I'll skip to when the cars are being worked on again. And then we'll, we'll do that. Okay, this is gonna be called the... The Chassis Type A. And I think that's fine. Modified Chassis. Or a... Full Leaf Springs front engine four-wheel drive. Hitting the same engine and that'll all fit probably, I'm guessing. Let's double check. Yeah, it'll fit, okay. And we'll go for a bit more for durability, and we'll go for a bit more uh, ability on this as well. This will be a bit more expensive. It's going to focus on dependability and stuff. We'll go for and some quality too. This will be a little, little expensive. And CT, the CT, um, four. Sure, why not? This this nomenclature for the naming is just off. That's fun. This is the four wheel drive version of it. That basically, uh, ladder chassis. We'll go for a. What was the CT? SH. That was a front engine rear wheel drive still. Okay. So we'll go for performance. And braking, which should help performance as well. We're gonna go lighter on the weight. And we're gonna go to a front engine. Rear wheel drive. Backbone chassis. And sliding pillars. Or swing axles for both. Yeah, swing axles for both. And we're gonna go performance here. And that's good. That's fine. A little expensive, that's okay. It will make it sure it fits later. It does, perfect. And we'll actually make it a bit shorter. Just a bit. Just a little bit. And a little bit narrower as well. Give some weight there. Much narrower apparently. That's okay. 380 pounds, quite light of a chassis. So this one's gonna be a bit lighter, probably, but also a little bit like a little bit less powerful. Uh this would be the CPS. Or the four, the S and the A. Why not? Um, and then the gearbox, we were gonna, we're gonna get rid of some of the old ones we can, that are not being used. We got a 2-speed, 3-speed, and a 5-speed. The 2-speed will be, can we do a manual? We'll do a manual 2-speed. No reverse gears needed, because this car is still quite light. You put it in the neutral, and you roll her right back. And there we go. EM3, by name, no, no complaint in there. Give it a bit more torque, though. A little more torque. We'll go for, like, what's the base engine? 80, 130. We'll go for 130. Er, 130 it is. Okay. And then we'll go modify gearbox. The, this is the bigger one, the bigger, badder one. We'll go for a three-speed manual with a reverse gear, like a luxury. Five? No. It'll be able to take 200, probably. Honestly, 200. What depend. A little bit less. We have to go for a four speed. A four speed is a luxury, but we can do we can do a four speed. It's expensive. We can do it. That'll be the truck and the nicer car. Transmission will go for the SH, which is our sports transmission. We'll go for a four speed manual. Again with 200. We got a transaxle there. That's nice. A nice one to have. We'll save it because you always want to save the game because it's going to crash lots. And I'll see you guys in one sec. We'll jump to actually build the next generation cars. Give me one sec, guys. So the R&D is finally complete for our vehicles here. Uh, we can go to the R&D department. We can see here, I've already put the parts out. The contracted to people. No, no, no. The outsource parts. If people want to rent our, or license our parts, they can. Uh, now we can design some vehicles. Now, uh, we should probably still make a Phaeton. you still dirt cheap. And they still are pretty popular for the next 10 years, so we'll go modify vehicle. We'll just make a base model Phaeton, probably. Uh, very, very simple. The CTA chassis. We're going to have a 1.9 liter. We could do two trims, probably. Um, we'll see. Exit all these windows. I think, honestly, the looks are probably fine. What else do we have? Like, nothing crazy, probably. We could do, like, a different look. I like, I like the green. These are actually all really nice. I don't like the same, pretty much all the same specs. Newer. Um... Very low rating of 3,800 of 100 approximately. Quite cheap at 360. It's cheaper than the last gen, actually. We're going to call this the... Like, should we just call this the Phaeton? Or we'll just call this the drop... The Maple Motors drop top. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just keep this as the MK... The, the MKA? The MKA? Like, it's a cheap car. Like, it doesn't need a crazy name. You know, um... Hmm. These are tough things for the names. I really should have thought about this before. Uh, we'll leave this as the MKA for now. Uh, we'll give our cars actual names soon, I guess. Like, the, like the truck's gonna have, like, a truck kind of name, probably. And we're gonna do two trims, though. It's still quite cheap. 
And we'll leave it on the same gearbox as well. The middle class, the middle class Phaeton. And it's just a bit of, a bit more dependable, probably, isn't it? Um, you can see here, so they want like a th two and a half stars out of five stars for dependability. Dependability is just super easy to get. And it's honestly the best thing you could do, I'd say. 40 miles an hour, quite fast. We'll call this the MKA. Um, mm, 2.8 liter. Is that what this has for an engine? 2.8 liter? That's the special thing about it? Sure. The Maven Motors MKA 2.8 L. Why not? Why not? I'm gonna hey, let me know, guys. Like, what what should we call these? Like, what kind of naming should we go for these things? Should we go for just American names? Like, should we name it after like like American or Canadian mountains? Maybe like we can name it after like certain Canadian landmarks or uh, land features or cities. Like, well, uh, it's gotta be Canadian themed. Canadian cities, landmarks. What do we think we should name it? Name the vehicles after. Let me know. Let me know. I want something kind of tough. Like the trucks gotta be tough names. The the cars gotta have like nicer names, uh, and the sports cars have, gotta have sexy names. It's gotta be. There, there's some variety here. I know. Um, I'm still on the side. There's a lot of awesome comments last time. I forgot them all, but there's a lot of awesome ones. Let me know, guys, down below what I should name the vehicles. The MKM. Again, that's just a bad name. Uh, we'll use the same CTA chassis. We will do quickly a 2.8 and a 3.5. Nope, oh, we just did a quick trim. Gosh darn it. Uh, we don't want to do that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do, again, I'm going to fast forward of me designing, we're going to use, uh, should we do that? Or no? This is 1922 MKM? Wait, wait. We don't want that, do we? What do we just do here? Oh, we, did we get rid of the speed? The MK Sport from 1910, did we just get rid of that? Restore? I don't know, did we just get rid of that? No. We must not have. Ah, don't worry about it, this is fine. Uh, n new trim of the MKM. We can't we can't do new generation because we've already did one and it's kind of glitching out. ETA 2.8 and a two speed. Design it. Oh yeah, this one's kind of weird looking. That's interesting. Um, what's a fine looking sedan? Now sedans have changed what they sort of are in the past hundred years. So obviously, not, they don't always look like a four door. I think they used to look like wagons, etc. This is an interesting looking one. I kind of like this one. We'll do. We'll use it. We'll use it. That's fine. It's interesting. I like it. Actually, no, it's not. Just a bit more modern. Like that's a bit nicer. We'll do that. A bit more expensive. We'll do for the middle class, actually. Not the upper middle class. And we'll do for one. Oh, we can't change the how long we're researching it, because technically it's a trim. Fine. Uh the MKM. And the ugh, really? We'll call it the um the MKE. Because uh, it's glitching out. That's okay. MKE is it's what it's called now. Why not? Who cares about having maintaining brand identity and stuff? Four speed we'll have for this one, the MK uh, 3.5L. And I think, yeah, next time I'm for sure gonna edit this down a bit more. For sure more, because this is a long video, I know, I apologize. This is, this is a tough game to really make crazy entertaining. I know, it's a lot of fun though. I'm having a lot of fun. 3.5 liter. Uh, we'll, let's for the upper middle class, then we'll do... Just a sports car. And I think we'll be fine. I think I'm gonna make a truck next episode. And you guys can watch me build the truck real quick and design what we want for a truck. And actually, there's some military contracts we can probably fit in here. Look at the 3.5. We'll do a three, a four speed, and another four speed. I'm gonna use the same, same body again probably because I like this one a lot. Do for the middle class, but the middle class sports car, probably. That sounds reasonable. How was the sedan for the upper class, upper middle, even though it was more expensive or cheaper than this is for the middle class? I don't know. Uh, MKS, we're gonna call this the MK... Yeah, yeah, we'll, I think we'll just call this this... Like, I don't know, the... Nah, MKS it is. It's still the MK-S. Uh, we'll do the names next time for the next generation of vehicles here. And we'll do a 4.1 liter with a 4 speed, and this is the 4.1 L. Now the trucks are probably gonna have a different uh, nomenclature for naming as well. 99 miles an hour, not as fast. Well, it's not supposed to be as fast. This is a it's, it's a cheaper car. And we'll do a focus on what else can we do here? It's manufacturing techniques. We'll make it a bit lighter. 99 mile an hour, 16.7 seconds, zero to 60, 70 horsepower. The MKS 4.1L. Look at that. We've got the MKA, MKS, and the MKE, which is our. It only can do 49 miles an hour. My gosh, eh? Um, and there's the MKS speed there apparently. Okay, what we're gonna do? 
is save the game. I don't know how long we've been going for. We've been going for a bit of a longer one as well. Next time, I'm 100% going to slow it, uh, make it go faster, because we are dragging along here. I know, I know. It's it's a, it's, it's a tough game. Uh, there's a lot happening, and especially as we add more models to the, the lineup here, I think I'm just going to skip the design part and just sort of show you guys what they are at the end here, because literally as this game gets later, like, let's say we have, like, 30 models, which a normal car company probably has, like, 20, 10 models, 20 to 10 to 30 models. Uh, it takes the literally probably 40 minutes to just to make a new generation of everything. It's crazy. I know. I love it, though. So we're going to end off here. Uh, if you guys like the video, leave a like down below. Let me know if you want to see more Gear City. I do really like this game. And if you guys like it, then that's awesome. Uh, and again, um, should we name the cars after maybe like some mountain ranges, some like other physical features of, of Canada? Lakes, cities. There's a lot of lakes. New cities, lakes, whatever you want. Like something Canadian think theme. This is going to stick with the brand here. Uh, let me know. Uh, what are we worth here? We're 390 million and Evade's worth 600 million, which is, we'll, we'll sell Evade soon. We bought for five. We'll sell for 60. Not bad. So anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, uh, I guess I will uh, see you guys next time.